Welcome back. This is another in our series of videos entitled GTS Plus Tips and Tricks. This one's all about snapshot and how to configure a snapshot. So let's dive right into our data. We're going to bring up the live data for the vehicle we're currently connected to. So we're going to go into the engine ECM and bring up some live data so that I can show you where the snapshot icon is located. And it looks like a little camera located directly behind me down here. Once we get our data to come up, here we go. There it is right there. There's that little camera icon. That is our snapshot tool. If we click on that, it's going to bring up our snapshot configure menu. And it's going to tell us how it's currently configured over here. Now, when we do that, we can now go through and make adjustments to it. There is another camera with a little gear in it. That means we can go in and change the settings for our snapshot. So let's take a look at that. We're going to go in and change our snapshot. We could just hit the red button and use the default settings that are already in here, and that would work just fine. But I want to show you a little trick in here. We can go in and actually configure a snapshot to occur without you actually hitting the button. That means you can keep both hands on the wheel while you're driving. What we can use are these four boxes up here. We can use our DTC, our DTC check mode, our parameter, or the manual, which is default. We've already seen that. So let's go up and look at parameter. What I can do with this is I can select one of the data list parameters and give it a value above which it will start the snapshot. We're going to leave all of our other configuration alone right now. We'll come back and change that here in a second, and you'll see why we're going to do that. All right, so up here at the top, I'm going to select a parameter. In this particular case, I wanted something that I could vary the output of, and I just picked engine RPM because I can step on the gas pedal, and I can make the engine rev up and change the RPM. Now, I set its value to be greater than. So I chose a specific value in here, 1562 at random. <laughs> nothing specific and then I wanted to go above that and then when I hit OK down at the bottom the snapshot configuration has changed and when I hit the red snapshot it doesn't do anything well the reason behind that is our engine RPM right now has not got above our 1562 once it does it will automatically trigger the recording which you'll start to see the blue line move from the left to the right side of the little white box down there in the bottom I've sped this process up a little bit so that we don't have to wait for the entire 30 seconds in this video just to watch the blue line scroll across the bottom of the screen. Once the snapshot has completed, it's going to give you the ability to store it. I recommend giving it a name so that you'll be able to identify it a little bit later. This one we simply typed in a very basic name. I think this was engine RPM is what we called it. From there, we simply hit yes to store it. And now it's going to be retrievable in our stored data like we looked at on our previous video by hitting the little icon at the top and pulling down our information we can now review the data now unlike TechStream software GTS Plus does not have a play function for the data instead it has these frame by frame icons down here at the bottom we'll look at those here in a little bit and we'll show you how they work there's also some graphing features that work really well. I'm going to show you those in our next video, so make sure you come on back for that one. All right, so let's take another look at how to manipulate the snapshot feature. We're going to go back out and bring up our live data again. So using the little hamburger up in the upper left-hand corner, we're going to click on that so that we can go to System Select, bring up our engine, use the primary data again, and then hit that little snapshot icon. Now, in this time, when we go into our configuration, what we're going to do is we're going to change the start point or the trigger point. And we're going to put it at 50%. The reason for this is it's going to capture everything before and also after our RPM value. So we're going to leave engine RPM up there. Again, it's easy for me to manipulate with the gas pedal. We're going to set above our threshold value, which is 1562. You could make that uh, a pressure value. You could make it a shift point. You can make it anything you want. Once we hit the little red button to start our snapshot, it now actually does something interesting. You'll notice the bottom indicator where our snapshot is recording, it's got a little yellow bar. That's everything before our parameter reached the value we set it at. Everything in blue is the point after we captured that value. Again, once the snapshot is complete, simply give it a name, hit yes to store it, and go back into the stored data tab where you will be able to retrieve and review that information. Now, reviewing the information can be a little bit more challenging with GTS Plus because there's no play button for that data. Instead, what you're going to have to utilize are a couple of little icons down here in the bottom, which are these frame-by-frame frame adjustment tools. 
If I click on these, what it's going to do is it's going to walk me through the frame by frame of the snapshot that I captured. So these numbers will change. You'll see behind me the values are going to change as we go through and utilize those frame by frame functions down here. So we're counting up through frame 23, 25, 27. Once we get to our trigger point, you'll see my RPM change, but we are looking at live data frames as we're going through this. There we go. There are some other ways to look at this data, and that includes this little icon right here, which is our graphing icon. Make sure you come back for our next video where we're going to bring back that data, and we're going to look at the best way to put it on a graph and the best way to view that graph. So come on back. There's always more to learn.